Premature puberty may be a concern for many parents. Dr. Susanna Aylesworth is a pediatrician here in Wilmington. Dr. Aylesworth, first of all, thank you for taking the time to come out and talk with us today. My pleasure. Now, is it uh, correct to call it premature puberty? Actually, the medical term would be precocious puberty, and that actually implies that a child's going through puberty physiologically before they're supposed to. So really what we're seeing is just a phenomenon of girls going through puberty early. And what kinds of questions are you getting from parents? I have a lot of concerned parents. Um, first of all, they want to know, is this normal for my daughter to be going through puberty? Um, second question is, they want to know, how do I stop this from happening? And thirdly, they want to know what's causing it. Is it normal? Well, um, it seemed to be becoming the norm. We're certainly seeing girls going through puberty earlier. Um, when I started practice seven years ago, my experience was a majority of those girls were girls with elevated body mass indexes, so girls that were overweight. But now I'm starting to see even girls with a normal BMI go through puberty. And what, what is causing it? It's multifactorial and there is a lot of research going into it. So far there are a lot of theories that uh, have not been statistically proven. We do know that girls with an elevated BMI are more likely and to go through puberty early and that's probably because of their endogenous fat produces estrogen and induces them to go through puberty early. And you say parents, their third question is how do you stop it? How do you do that? Right now, the only answer I have is to, if you have a child who has an elevated BMI, to work on healthier habits, um, not necessarily weight loss, but minimizing TV, healthier diet, hopefully with normalizing their body mass index, you can uh, prolong or delay. Okay. Well, Dr. Susanna Ellsworth, thank yes. you for taking the time to come out to talk with us tonight. Thank you. You have a good night. Well, still ahead tonight on WWAY, Congress is going back to Capitol Hill. Democrats say it's crucial, Republicans say it's bogus. With typing on computer keyboards so common, do you even remember basic handwriting? One South Carolina school district is hoping that will change.